Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Manny B Investing in BI, and we've got a new Paribus update today. And I believe it's going to be addressing some of the concerns people had around the delay of the MVP on mainnet due to security. So let's dive in and see what the project has to say. I know my man Jed Master here. Uh, thank you for treating security as the most the, as the utmost priority. Your community investors are placing a great deal of trust in you're doing so, and it will pay dividends in the long term. That is my uh, feelings on it as well. Take your time. Do it right. Let's check it out. Let's uh, zoom in on this a little bit. So you can see it. Despite all the diligence and dedication of a project founders, and development teams working day and night in crypto, bad actors continuously steal the limelight. If that ain't the truth, it only takes one flaw to lose hundreds of millions of dollars, sometimes billions. And with such high stakes, no one can afford to be reckless with security. It's, it's the hidden utility within all of the protocols and websites we interact with on a daily basis, whether it's web two or Web3 security is an essential element that we usually only pay attention to when it's too late. Ain't that the truth? It's a point that close to the heart of our security advisor, Chris Churis. Oh, we, we know, we know Chris. Chris is, uh, he's like the lead guy at a uh, Jiro wallet. Uh, Chris is a cyber is a senior cybersecurity engineer skilled in penetration testing, vulnerability management, email security, and data loss prevention. Good guy, skill, skilled guy. I've watched him uh, get through issues in his uh, his home project and, and handle that stuff and address it on uh, utmost importance and in, 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 in quick turnaround. And he is, he was in the telegram. He was explaining, you know, what was going on what they were doing to fix it and then got it fixed and, and got it taken care of. And it was like some low security stuff that just caused like uh, it was like visibility. Like you couldn't see things in a wallet or something or the, the transactions, you couldn't see the transaction. So um, I like him. He's really, he's really transparent and explains what's going on in the projects that he's dealing with. Um, if something were to go wrong uh, about how the crypto community in general is changing its attitude, security he says the community is devoting more attention to security and due diligence. This happens through hard learned lessons, sometimes which is very unfortunate and does not represent the hard work, vision and daily grind of most projects out here. And then they have the uh, little image here, a penetration testing, vulnerability assessment, all of what goes into security there. Unfortunately, these lessons come at a cost to many of the people who can least afford them. For instance, the many small retail investors who trusted FTX with their crypto didn't realize until it was too late that they didn't actually own it anymore. On this point, Chris explains that educating people before it's too late is key to the future longevity of the crypto space. As projects, our duty is not only to build, but to also educate people in order to be able to better fend for their their selves and their assets. One of the biggest lessons in 2022 is not your keys, not your crypto. And we cannot repeat this phrase enough times. Yeah. Let that, let that marinate, let it stay in your brain. If it is not your keys controlling the wallet, you do not own that crypto. Look at FTX, look at Celsius, look at BlockFi, the countless mini protocols. Look at uh, ADAX. You don't control those wallets, the projects do, and those projects can be bad actors. Although security is only sexy when it's accompanied by images of Tom Cruise climbing the outside of a skyscraper, the reality is that it takes time, patience, and effort. Rushing things may get you to the market ahead of the competition, but the trade-off is that it may cost you your users, their assets in the long run. Building in a bear market certainly helps to reduce the pressure a little, but we understand how frustrating security delays can be for our community. As Chris explains, it is easier to approach many things, including security 
in a bear market. However, at Paribus, we have been paying attention to security since day one. Nice. Bear markets are for building and for taking the time to do things the right way. But security and especially safeguarding user funds is never a step to be overseen or compromised for the sake of delivery at any time. And that's a serious statement right there, people. This is why we opted to commission a second security audit by Hacken prior to our, our uh, releasing our MVP. We know this could negatively impact our target uh, date for the release of our MVP, but we feel it's an essential step. Since the launch of the testnet MVP and bug bounty program, some issues were identified that we were able to patch. However, as Chris says, security is always our number one priority. We never forget how fortunate we are to have such a strong support from our incredible community and emphasizing security is one important way we can repay that loyalty. From a security perspective, almost everything can be perceived as a threat when you've got hundreds of millions of dollars in the open. The risk to reward ratio massively increases in many nation states such as North Korea have dedicated teams of hackers constantly trying to exploit any volatility uh, vulnerability they can find that is crazy these these countries like china and north korea they in russia a lot of times they have these hackers that literally are state sponsored and they attack protocols and they steal money and then they use that money to pay pay for things food military budgets it's it's insane and they really go after the the crypto community they really do um Let's see, for security perspective, almost anything can be perceived as a threat when you've got hundreds of millions of dollars in the open. Okay, we read that part. Uh, each potential threat is known as an attack, an attack vector, and Chris explains which ones are the hardest to defend against. This is tough. One, as oh, this is this is a tough one, as all attack vectors are just that, attack vectors. However, based on my experience, attacks via social engineering are probably the hardest to defend against. He continues. This is because you might have all the layers of security on top of your application or smart contract. You have done all the audits and included all the right tools along the way, and your product is as secure as possible. None of this matters if a user is tricked to click a link, download a file, share a seed phrase, and so forth. You won't be able to protect your user, your users, and this is hard to make peace with. As Wilson, our COO, explained on Friday, our MVP is in a very final stages of its second uh, hack and audit. And while we want to release it by the end of January, this is now looking impossible. Our rescheduled release date is now set for February. As usual, we'll keep you updated with developments and thank you for your continued patience and support. Good to get some uh, quotes from, from Chris. He's, uh, he's over at Gerald wallet doing great things. Great work over there. I have some, uh, I think he follows us on uh, Twitter, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, he's just done some great work over there. I like him. So it's really reassuring that he is working with uh, Paribus on securing the protocol. But that's all we have on this one. Hit that like, hit the share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.